glory. This evening I'll be speaking very sharply on the subject praise and preservation. Praise and preservation. Our objective is to understand the connection between praise and preservation. Psalm 150 and in verse 6. Psalm 150 and in verse 6, he said, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise and preservation. Well, before I go into the midst of the message, I want to say again, welcome to this festive and celebration season of December. Can you welcome, him, welcome yourselves and welcome your friends with a shout of victory? I declare, I decree right now, it shall be to you a season of festivity, not a season of calamity. It shall be a season of celebration, not a season of depression, not a season of distraction, not a season of destruction. In the name of Jesus, again, it shall be a season of festivity, not a season of calamity, a season of celebration, not a season of depression, not a season of destruction, not a season of destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I announce right now that this in this season of December, the perfect plan and purpose and program of God for you in this season shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Everything Jehovah has pro pro programmed, everything that is his purpose, is his desire, is his intention for you in this season, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare every satanic agenda Every demonic calculation of the enemy for this season, every cycle of evil, every cycle of calamity, by the mantle and power of God with which I preach, I declare it is cancelled. It is frustrated in the name of Jesus. I announce this last part of the year shall be for you the best part of the year. Everything packaged into December for you. And 2019 generally, 31st of December is not permitted to arrive until the package enters your hands. It shall be last minute miracles. It shall be last minute manifestations. It shall be last minute signs and wonders. You believe that shall the loudest. Amen. Help me greet somebody around you and tell them this last part of the year shall be the best part of your year. This last part of the year shall be the best part of your year. This last part of the year shall be the best part of the year. In Jesus' precious name. You believe that? Shout hallelujah. And give the Lord the praise. Please take your seat. And now we are looking at the connection between our praise and our preservation. Our text where we read in Psalm 150 verse 6 said, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. What is the meaning of that? The first thing is this. First, praising God is key to being kept alive. Praising God is key to being kept alive. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. It is, it is true the other way. Whoever will praise the Lord will have breath. Uh, whoever will praise the Lord will have breath. In other words, your breath was given to you to praise the Lord. And so for as long as you are ready to praise the Lord, no devil can take your breath. As long as you are ready to praise the Lord, no devil can take your breath. It's like praise is a bill we pay. And when you pay the praise bill, you can guarantee your lifespan. <laughs> there is a connection between the praise bill and the lifespan. Now the connection is clearer in Psalm 119 verse 175. Very, very clear. It said, let my soul live and it shall praise you. 
If only you permit me to live, I will praise you. Let my soul live and it shall praise you. And let your judgments help me. Let my soul live and it shall praise you. Master Koko Bagadaga Laga Yada Galaba. That is, Lord, I am ready to give you praise. You give me life. Let my soul live and it will praise you. I am ready to give you praise and I am asking that you give me life. Give me life and I will give you praise. I give you praise and you give me life. Give me life and I will give you praise. I give you praise and you will give me life. Let my soul live and it shall praise you. I prophesy to somebody here today. The praise you are going to be offering to God this evening is going to prolong your life. It's going to kill the forces of death. It's going to kill the forces of destruction you believe that shout the loudest amen look at your number say praise him and he will give you life he gives you life to praise him give the lord a praise as you take your seat that is so direct let my soul live and it will praise you. Let my soul live and it shall praise you. Let my soul live. If, if only you will let me live, I'll praise you. And because I'll praise you, you will let me live. No wonder Psalm 40, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21 said, he said, these people have I formed. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21. These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. They shall show forth. Isaiah 43 Two one. They shall show forth my praise. Do you remember when King Hezekiah? These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Sh giving God the praise is the reason why we were created. This is the meaning of it. If you will fulfill the reason why you are created, you will be guaranteed existence to fulfill that reason. If you will fulfill the reason why you are created, you will be, you will be guaranteed existence to continue to fulfill that reason. Let my soul live and it will praise you. That was what happened to King Hezekiah when he was about to die. In Isaiah chapter 38 verse 10, he said, he said, in the cutting off of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am deprived of the balance of my years. In verse 18, he began to speak. The grave cannot praise you. Death cannot celebrate you. They that go to the pit cannot hope in your truth. And he began to speak in verse 19. Only the living, only the living shall praise you. As I am doing now, the father to the children shall make known your truth. And he said in verse 20, God, the Lord was ready to save me. I was about to die. But when I said, dead, dead people can't praise you. Dead people can't praise you. People in the grave cannot praise you. As I began to talk like that, God was ready to save me. No death can take you if you are set to praise God. If you are set to worship God. Hezekiah, I call it the praise, the praise button. Hezekiah pressed the praise button and reversed the death sentence. If you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. <laughs> if you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. Is God speaking to somebody here? If you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. Can you tell somebody near you say, press the praise button and reverse the death sentence. If you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. If you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. If you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. I speak to someone here today. Every death sentence that has been imposed on you, every death sentence from the kingdom of darkness, from the occult realm, from the pit of hell, Wherever they have orchestrated and organized for you to die before your time. By your praise tonight, that death sentence is canceled. You press the praise button and you reverse the death sentence. Somebody shout the loudest, amen. 
Give the Lord a loud shout of victory. Victory praise. 60 seconds victory praise. Are you doing that? 60 seconds victory praise. 60 seconds victory praise. One, two, go. Give him the shout of victory. 60 seconds victory praise. Praise and praise and praise and praise. Press the praise button. 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 Press the praise button and reverse the death sentence. Press the praise button and reverse the death sentence. Press the praise button and reverse the death sentence. Give him a shout of victory. And tell somebody again by your side, if you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. Say it now. If you can press the praise button, you can reverse the death sentence. Give the Lord a big clap of hand as you take your seat in the presence of the Lord. So, praising God is key to being kept alive. Number two, praising God is key to vitality health and strength praising god is key to vitality is key to health it is key to strength proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 said a merry heart doeth good like a medicine a merry heart doeth good like a medicine a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth up the bones. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. What is the connection? James chapter 5, verse 13b. Is any merry, any among you afflicted, let him pray. Is any merry, let him sing psalms. So a merry heart will lead you to a praiseful life. And that will that will lead you to a healthy life. For a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. A merry heart equals a praiseful life. And a praiseful life equals a healthy life. Merriment is key to health. It is key to strength. It is key to vitality. No wonder Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 be said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Somebody say a loud amen. The meaning of that is your praise is a weapon against disease. Your praise is a weapon against weakness. It's a weapon against sickness. It's a weapon against infirmity. Because merriment is therapeutic. Merriment is medicinal. Merriment is a medicine. I prophesy to somebody today. Every sickness in your body, every disease in your system tonight is wiped off, is deleted, is canceled by your praise, by your worship, and by your celebration of God tonight in the name of Jesus. Every area of your life where there is a symptom, where there is a disease, where there is an infirmity, where there is an infection, today it is arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Give the Lord a praise and take your seat. Praising God is key to vitality, health and strength. Number three, praising God. is key to accessing God's presence. Say it this way. Praising God grants access to God's presence. And God's presence is key to preservation of life. Praising God grants access to God's presence. And God's presence is key to preservation of life. Psalm 100 and in verse 4. Psalm 100 and in verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. It said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts 
with praise. Every time you carry the praise, nothing can stop you from entering his presence. And what is the value of his presence? Praising God grants access to God's presence. And God's presence is key to preservation of life. Psalm 91 verse 1 and 2. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If I praise God, I step in there. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Psalm 23 verse 4 said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. When you praise God and you live the life of praise, you dwell in his presence. And when you dwell in his presence, your life is preserved. Tonight, the praise that is going to flow from here, I declare preservation for your life. I declare preservation for your family. Preservation for your children. In the name of Jesus. Number four, praising God destroys enemy. All right, praising God dissolves battles and enemy confrontations. It dissolves battles and enemy confrontations. Battles and enemy confrontations. This is, these are things that can bring the destruction of life. But your praise can destroy your battle and the confrontations of your enemy. Of course, we, we, we read that in Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 22, and all the way to verse 23. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Moab, of, of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. When they began to sing, what is the meaning of that? Any battle that can lead to your death, your praise will finish it. Any battle that can lead to your destruction, your praise will quench it. Any battle that can lead to pain, your praise will quench it. Which means that tonight is a night for the dissolution of battles. It's a night for the dissolving of confrontations. It's a night for the scattering of conspiracies. I speak to someone's life here tonight. Every battle around you now that is targeting your life, that is targeting your joy, that is targeting your peace, that is targeting your health, that battle is dissolved now by the power of praise tonight. Shout the loudest. Amen. Help me tell somebody by yourself, say that battle is over, 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 that battle is over in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a praise as you take your seat. And finally, number five, praising God delivers from acute danger. What is the meaning of that? Acute danger, ongoing danger, danger that is current. That is inside the midst of danger. Praising God is a deliverance. That was the challenge of Jonah. He was in the midst of acute danger. Jonah chapter 2, verse 2. He said, I said, I cried by reason. Of mine affliction. Unto the Lord. And he heard me. Out of the belly of hell. Cried I. And thou heardest my voice. For thou hast cast me into the deep. In the midst of the seas. And the floods compassed me about. All the, thy billows and thy waves. Passed over me. Then I said I am cast out of thy sight. Yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters compassed me about, even to the soul. He was talking about when he was swallowed by the fish in the depth of the earth. Acute danger. The depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. 
I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. And my prayer came in unto thee, into thy holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mess. Now look at verse 8. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake to the fish when he gave the thanksgiving and vowed the vow. The Lord speak to the fish and he vomited out Jonah to the dry land. That is, God will speak to the danger to vomit the man who knows how to praise. I'm sure you heard it many times in, in, in church here. While that girl was in the midst of the kidnappers and in the middle of that acute danger, in the depth of the jungle, you are always there to help. You are always there to help me. And the danger vomited her until she disappeared and evaporated from the jungle of the kidnapper and found herself by the highway, by the military checkpoint, where they rescued her to safety. That is proof positive that praising God in acute danger is key to deliverance. Am I communicating at all? The reason for testimonies is for you to know what to do in case you are found in such situations, but you will never be found. And the lady from Macon in the middle of the accident. You are holy, Lord, you are holy. Was the worship playing in her ears. You are highly lifted up. Vehicles, some assaulted many times. At the end of the day, she found herself outside the vehicle. Five, six people were already dead. They took her to the hospital for observation. Not a single challenge. The father stood her to tes here to testify. Praising God delivers you from acute danger. That kind of danger you don't know you could survive. That kind of situation you don't know how can I come out. It delivers you from acute danger. And I prophesy today to somebody here. Everything that is endangering your life will hear the voice of God. God will speak to the danger to vomit you out right now. Can somebody say louder? Amen. Every danger of death and destruction that has taken you over and taken your life and your destiny over is vomiting you out now in this season. Shout the loudest. Amen. Help me tell somebody. Say that danger is vomiting you and vomiting your resources and vomiting your destiny now. Say it. Tell somebody. That danger is vomiting you out now. It's vomiting your destiny. It's releasing you. It's liberating you. It's liberating you. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. What have we said so far? That praising God is key to being kept alive. When you pray, your praise be, it can increase your lifespan. Praising God is key to health, vitality, and strength. And that praising God grants access to God's presence. And God's presence is key to the preservation of life. That praising God destroys, dissolves battles and enemy confrontations. And praising God delivers from acute danger, ongoing danger. Danger that is present. How should our praise be to pr produce result? How should our praise be? What are the keys to the deliverance power of praise? Number one, our praise should be continuous, not just occasional. Praise should be continuous, not just occasional. See, it is easy for to praise God when the drum is beating in church and when the music is on. But it takes those who really know God to praise God when there is no drum. In, in Psalm 34 verse 1, see what the psalmist said? I will bless the Lord only when I am in church. Read it well. I will bless the Lord only when I got promotion in the office. Oh, no, no, no. I will bless the Lord when I bought a new car. Oh, no, 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 no. I will bless the Lord when food is on the table. <laughs> are you, are you didn't read it well. I will bless the Lord when my promotion arrives. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I will bless the Lord when the drumming is good and the keyboard is good. No, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise 
shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Not occasionally in my mouth. Continually be in my mouth. Anybody who is going to praise God at all times, do it now. Do it now with a shout of victory. I will praise God at all times. His praise shall continually. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Take your seat one minute. Psalm 71 verse 6. He also corroborates this. I will praise God. He said, by thee have I been holding up from the womb. You kept me from the womb. You are he who took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually, not occasionally. That is the kind of praise that makes you irresistible to satanic calculations. This was the man, the man talking now was the man who fought 77 battles and lost none. Everything set trap for him. Everybody fought him, including his own children. Absalom rose up against him. Adonijah, the son of Haggit, rose up against him. Joab teamed up with Absalom, his immediate assistant. Everything. Saul almost killed him. The lion almost killed him. The bear. But none could. He died in good old age. Why? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And for as long as I live in that realm, I am not afraid of any danger. For though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. And thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Is God speaking to somebody here? I like you to, to learn the habit of blessing the Lord at all times. In the middle of the day, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Lord. Praise be to you, Lord. And you are listening to worship. And you are worshiping along. And you are just right in the spirit at all times. At all times. Not just because he did anything necessarily for you now. But because he created you to praise him. He created you to worship him. These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Somebody shout the loudest, amen. Say a louder, amen. Tell somebody, learn the habit. Say it, learn the habit. Of praising God at all times. Not just good times, but every time. Every time. And all the time. And everything shall be good. Give the Lord a shout of praise as you take your seat. So our praise, please take your seat. Our praise should be continuous. Praise should be continuous, not just occasional. And number two, praise should express gratitude. 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 Praise should come from a grateful heart. It should express gratitude. Psalm 100 from verse 1 all the way to verse 4 said make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Anybody making a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Somebody say aloud, Amen. For the Lord is good for his mercies and it's everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. The devil will try to make you feel like there is no reason for praise, but I like you to continuously look out for reasons to praise God. Huh? Every time you took a journey and you reach where you are going, it's a reason to praise God. Even leaving your house and reaching the church <laughs> is a reason to praise God because there are people who didn't survive even that little journey. People die inside town, inside town. Ghastly accident, they die in town. But that will never be your portion. Every time you have food and you can eat, it is a reason to praise God. Do you remember the, 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 the prayer that they used to, the song that children used to sing in those days? We thank God that we have food and we can eat. Because there are people who have food and cannot eat. And there are people who can eat but have no food. 
<laughs> there are people who have food and they cannot eat. They have food, they cannot eat. They have no appetite. Sickness of one affliction or the other. They anorexia, uh, inability to eat is a major symptom in medicine. They can, they, there is food, but they cannot eat. There are those who can eat, but where is the food? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is not is not that they cannot eat. That is, they can eat. I mean, whatever you give them, they can eat. I, I, I used to have an uncle in those days. If, if you give him big pounded yam, I think he would divide it into three. And before you know it, it is, it is over. The pounded yam has expired. Uh, he just by, he just, he, he, I think the, the mold of one can be like his fist. Before you know it, it is gone. It's just the pounded yam disappeared. All right? That is someone who can eat. Right? And there are those who cannot eat. So every time you have food and you can eat, it is a reason to praise God. Every time you have cloth that, and you can wear, it's a reason to praise God. Is God speaking to somebody here at all? Every time you breathe and the air is going in, it's a reason to praise God. Because there are those who cannot breathe at all. Am I speaking? Every time you are free of pain, there are those who have never been free of pain since they were born. They know nothing but pain permanently. There is a reason to praise God. And if there is anybody who believes you have a reason to praise God, give him a shout and a loud shout of praise. A reason to praise God. 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 A reason. Give him a bigger clap and a louder shout. Oh, victory! Only great fools are not grateful. When you see a man who doesn't know what it means to be grateful, you are dealing with a great fool. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say a louder amen. The whole month of December is our month of praise. So by all means, it is our month of preservation. Calculated disembaric disasters can never be your portion. And this evening, we are going to praise like never before. I like you to praise, I like you to dance, I like you to sing, I like you to celebrate, I like you to jubilate, I like you to do what you have not been able to do before, I like you, the aisle is free, the front is free, and let the devil know that nothing can stop your praise. And as we praise God tonight, something is about to happen. Can you give the Lord another clap and a shout of praise as we hit the instrument and hit the instrument in singing and celebration? Go ahead, give him the praise. 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 Give him the honor. Give him the adoration.